boy. Yeah, they gon' shoot. My niggas, my niggas, yeah, they gon' shoot. We slide on your block, we let off too. We don't do too much talking, we just come through. With them guns and killers, what you gon' do? Bet these niggas can walk inside my shoes. Gotta stick with my gun, just like a glue. Control these bitches, they pick and choose. Can't love no more. As y'all know, season four of NBA 2K23 just dropped, and I'm here with the best dribble sigs for 6'5 to 6'9 players. You feel me? Now, as you know, if you've been watching me, I am not really a type of person that you know likes big guards. I like small guards that can dribble fast, that can get to their spot and get the three up. But for this video right here, I got y'all with the best sigs for taller builds. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, these are the best sigs you've seen me cooking up. And I'm not gonna lie, these sigs are literally unguardable, you feel me? But do me a quick favor, hit that like button for your boy, smash that subscribe button. Why? Because I'm gonna be showing y'all how to use these sigs in game, you feel me? I got a little mini dribble tutorial, so keep watching. But look at this little clip. I had to throw this little clip in right here. My build's so tough. Go check out the build video. I'm fading from deep, no badge. But that's it, man. Let's get right into it. All right, y'all. Let's get right into the sigs. No time wasted, you feel me? Now, listen, I'm gonna go through all the sigs one by one. And after I go through them, I'm gonna go ahead, give y'all a mini dribble tutorial on how to use some of these sigs. All right. So, pro dribble style. I'm not gonna lie. Not the move, you feel me? I just got it on just to, you know, feel me? Now, listen. The best dribble uh, dribble style in this game right now is Michael Jordan, okay? You want to have MJ dribble style on. It's for literally every build. If you're a small guard, a big guard, whatever type of guard you are, the, this is the best dribble style, Michael Jordan. Signature size up. Not going to lie, for a bigger guy, you got to have that T-Mac on. It's for that little crossover. Once you get that crossover, you can literally speed boost by your defender every single time. De'Aaron Fox is a good one too, but I'm not going to lie, I really don't use De'Aaron Fox. I still dribble like a small guard, even on my 6'9 build. That's why I have T-Mac on, okay? Size up escape, John Wall. It's literally the best one. A lot of people going to tell you a different, but I'm telling you, John Wall is the best one. I use this on my 6'1 guard too, not going to lie. One of the best size of escapes in the game. Moving crossover. You gotta have this Russell Westbrook on. It gives you this long cross. That one right there that he just did. Gives you that long cross. It gets you right by your defender to the hoop. Or you could snatch back, pull a three off of it. Now, moving behind the back. It's really your choice. You can go with pro. Steph Curry is restricted, obviously. But that's a good one to have. I can't get it. Allen Iverson is a good one because it does that long behind the back. That one right there. But I'm not gonna lie. I like pro because he keeps it close to his, like, he keeps it close to his body. And he gets that little fast one that he's doing right now. That's why I like pro. Movement spin basic, okay? You gotta have that basic on for that fast spin back. Movement hezzy. Now this right here, you can go with a bunch of different things. You can go with pro, KD, Zach Levine, or Rondo. I go with Zach Levine, not gonna lie. Moving step back, this is a super important move right here. Luka Doncic, moving step back, you need this. If you wanna do the Asa slide, you're gonna have to use normal. But me personally, Luka Doncic is the best one for taller builds. Triple threat style really doesn't matter, but you can go with MJ for that pass fake. But these are the best SIGs in the game right now. Copy all these down. You're going to be super, super tough with these SIGs. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And the, this is the best score moves. You feel me? If you want my jump shot, I already gave it out in the build video. So go ahead. Go check that out. And this is literally everything right here, man. You feel me? The dribble pull-up, the clip y'all seen of me fading, it's with Devin Booker dribble pull-up. It's the best dribble pull-up in the game for bigger builds, okay? For taller builds. Now, with that being said, let me show y'all my playmaking badges. And after that, let's get right into this little mini dribble tutorial. These are the playmaking badges I currently have. You see, the only badges I have maxed on this build is literally playmaking. I still need shooting. I still need finishing, you feel me? And I'm still needing defensive badges but i still get the job done i barely lose on this build just because i know how to dribble not gonna lie quick first step needed one of the best badges in the game unpluckable so you don't get plucked you're a taller build they're gonna be hitting square on you handles for days you need that so you don't get tired clamp breaker is a good one to have when you're going to the hoop you get a clamp breaker hyper drive is a good badge now only reason i had vice grip on is because i was from playing threes and i was running breaks you don't need vice grip you can go ahead put hyper drive boom and then put ankle breaker something like this okay this this is a really good badge combo to have right now now enough talking man let's get right into this little mini dribble tutorial all right y'all so y'all see you in the arena right now i'm not gonna lie this arena is literally for me to dribble okay i literally play pro amp and just dribble in here with my smaller guard i usually never go in here with my taller guard because i really don't need to 
because I know all I basically know how to the way I dribble I dribble the same way I dribble on my 6-1 that I do on my 6-9 okay so basically I want to show y'all a couple moves the first move I want to show y'all is this Russell Westbrook move right here this move this move right here it's going to get you open a lot of the times if you have like a defender who really doesn't know how to play defense you hit this move boom it's going to get you open just look at the amount of space it creates I can literally do it from back here and end up on the three-point line and just shoot the ball you feel me that's why this move is super super tough now in order to do this move I don't have a hand cam up so yeah y'all really can't follow along but in order to do this move just listen to me you feel me hold r2 and flick your right stick straight up that's all you do for this move boom and he does the move right you just hold r2 flick your right stick straight up and he does the move that's the russell westbrook crossover right there it's super super tough i'm telling you it's probably the easiest move to do in this little dribble tutorial okay so the next move i'm going to show y'all is a momentum dribble okay it's this momentum dribble right here you see me spamming the momentum dribble that's the momentum dribble right there okay in order to momentum dribble all you want to do is hold r2 if you got the ball in your left hand you're going to flick the right stick to the upper right and flick the left stick into the direction i'm going i'm going to go right so i'm going to do it this way boom and then i'm going to do it back the other way okay so in order to do it to the left if you got the ball in your right hand, you're going to hold R2. You're going to flip the right stick to the upper left. And you're going to flip the left stick into the direction you're going, which is left. I'm going left, so I'm going to flip it that way. Boom. And he does the momentum. Now you see, if you momentum and don't do any other moves, you're going to lose an adrenaline bar, okay? So that's why either you want to spam a momentum dribble like this, so I'm not losing no adrenaline, or do a momentum and snatch back off of it. Boom. You snatch back off of it, you don't lose your adrenaline, you only you lose stamina, you feel me? You know, in order to snatch back, it's not hard to snatch back, okay? You can snatch back every single time. If you hold R2, flip the right stick straight up and flip the left stick straight down, boom, snatch back. Boom, snatch back. Sometimes you're going to get the Russell Westbrook if you do it too fast or do it too slow, but every single time, I hold R2, right stick up, left stick down, and he's going to snatch back, okay? That's all you got to do for it. Snatch back every single time, okay? It's probably one of the easiest moves to do, not going to lie. Once you get it down, you can literally spam the snatch back. Even if you're tired, you can spam the snatch back, okay? Now, you see I'm literally dead, so let me get my stamina back, not going to lie. So, I showed y'all the momentum. I showed y'all the Westbrook. I showed y'all the snatch back. What else I got to show y'all? Oh, yeah, this John Wall. This John Wall right here. I'm telling you, look look at this John Wall. Look how low your 6'9 guard gets, and he just does spams this move, okay? Now, you see, I'm out of stamina so quick because I'm in the arena. I don't got no Gatorade bars. Now, listen, in order to do this John Wall, all you're going to want to go ahead and do, hold R2 if you got the ball in your left hand, right? You're going to hold R2. You're going to flick the right stick to the bottom right and the left stick to the bottom left. I'm going to say one more time. If you have the ball in your left hand, you're going to hold R2. Click the right stick to the bottom right left stick to the bottom left like in a one two motion like a one two punch motion okay so boom as soon as you do that he's gonna do that move right there now if you got the ball in your right hand you're gonna flip the right stick to the bottom left left stick to the bottom right in a one two motion as soon as you do that he's gonna do that move right there boom so now you can go ahead spam this move back and forth back and forth okay simple as that and you can speed boost out of it now i uh, move i like doing is this move right here okay let me show y'all this move out of this john wall it's this move right here. Hold on. I got to get some stamina back. Not going to lie to y'all, boys. I'm super dead. Hold on. This move right there. You see that move right there? It looks super slow because I'm tired. So let me get some stamina back. But once you can do this move, I'm telling you, you're going to be tough. Now, this is a super tough move to do. Not really, but once you get it down, you'll know how easy it is. All right? Now, listen. Look at this move I'm about to do. Boom. Watch. I'm about to do this move. Boom. And you can just speed boost out of it every single time. Fade if you want. Do whatever you want out of it, right? So in order to do this move right here, you can do it both ways. You can do it this way or you can do it this way, right? In order to do this move, it's literally you got the ball in your left hand. You're not holding R2 for this move, okay? This is one move you're not going to hold R2 for. You're going to flick the right stick to the bottom left and you're going to flick the uh, right stick or the left stick to the bottom right, okay? So boom. In order to do this move, right stick to the bottom left, left stick to the bottom right, okay? Boom. Simple as that. One more time. If you got the ball in your left hand, right stick to the bottom left, left stick to the bottom right. Boom. One, two motion. As soon as you do it, he's going to do that move, and you can go ahead and speed boost out of it, okay? Now, if you got the ball in your right hand, you're going to flick the right stick to the bottom right, left stick to the bottom left. Boom. Watch. Hold on. Let me do the move. Hold on. Sometimes I'll be messing it up. I ain't going to lie to you. There you go. Boom. Simple as that. Right stick to the bottom right, left stick to the bottom left every single time and he's gonna do the move uh you can just go ahead and spam it i'm not gonna rock i really would not spam it i would just do the move one time like this i'm gonna do the move 
and I'm just gonna boom speed boost out of it and just shoot off of it, okay? Because it catches the defender off guard. It really, it really be catching the defender off guard. I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys. That's really it for all the moves. Oh yeah, there's one more move. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Hold on. Boom. This Luca step back right here. This step back is super tough. You can you can T Mac right out of it, okay? So in order to do this move, all you're gonna wanna do is flick your right stick down, okay? That's literally it. Let's say I'm running to the right. Boom. Let go of R2. Flick my right stick down. T Mac the other way. I'm telling you, it's super super tough. Get that move in y'all bag. It's the easiest move to do, probably next to the snatch back. Boom. Watch. Huh? Luca every single time. You can Luca every single time and not lose no adrenaline. You see, I'm not losing any adrenaline until I do a speed boost move. Okay. So get that move in y'all bag. Y'all gonna be tough. If y'all have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. You feel me? Hit that like button for your boy. Smash that subscribe button. We on the road to 10k. And let's get it, man. Why am I?